Well, welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at a, another special case for factoring, and that is if we have a perfect square trinomial. Now, in order for it to be a perfect square trinomial, it has to look, it has to be in one of these two formats. It has to be either in the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, or a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now, if it's in that first form, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, that's going to factor down to be a plus b quantity squared. Or if it's a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, that's going to factor down to be a minus b quantity squared. Now, a couple of notes about this. If we have three terms and you're trying to see if it's a perfect square trinomial, you should notice that the last operation here should always be a plus. It doesn't matter what the first operation is. The last operation should always be a plus. Now, if that's the case where we have three terms and the last operation is a plus, the next step to see, is it a perfect square trinomial? And the way that we do that is that going through these three kind of checkpoints. First checkpoint is, are the first and last terms perfect squares? And if so, what are they? So in this case, we'll look at an example in a second. But after that, once we determine what a and b are, the next step to see if it's a perfect square trinomial is to check to see if the middle term is the same as 2 times a times b. Now, we don't care about whether it's a plus or a minus. We just want to figure out, is it the same as 2 times a times b? Well, how would that look?